checking the audio on this. First and last name, spell it for me. Troy Burchett, T R O Y B U R C H E T T. Good deal. I could spell it L A S T. Troy, talk to me a little bit about, you know, uh, I know we have uh, sat down like this uh, a couple of times actually, but uh, talk to me a little bit about uh, what you've been up to lately. Well, I got to go uh, and do a national TV show called Virginia Dreams. It's in um, Abington, down toward Abington, or below Ab Abington, Virginia. I had a chance to be on that, and one of my songs was the top-rated song that they'd ever had on their social media. Uh, I got to write that song. I was very blessed. I feel very honored, honored, honored for that. Uh, also, I get to sing and play a lot with Jason Goble, a good friend of mine. I respect him a lot. He's a songwriter, musician. And the song that I just did for you is actually on the Songwriter Scene CD that you can pick up at the local restaurants and the Mac and things like that. Uh, besides that, I travel to a lot of churches, and I work a lot with... Uh, I teach yoga classes at the United, or First United Methodist Church here in Prestonsburg. So I'm doing quite a bit. I really enjoy music, though. It's where my heart is. And uh, I like to write songs. I'm a storyteller. So I write about what I feel, what I've lived, lost. Uh, I think that makes the best songs. If you can move somebody. And a guy told me one time that if you can sing a song and that person can live it, then that song is worth something. So... Tell me a little bit more about that song. Tell me the name of it and give me a little background on it, maybe what it's about. Well, I actually wrote it about my girlfriend. And it's called Live to Love You. Um, and I'm very honored to... Uh, it's a story of, that me and her share. So uh, it's kind of a personal thing. That, and uh, But I'm honored I got to write it for her and get to do it for her. So I write songs that, I, that move me in some way or... Uh, that I've lived, in other words. So the story in that song is a message, and if you listen really close, hopefully it'll relate to something in your life as well. You know, talk to me about some of the obstacles that you have faced uh, 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 growing up and, 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 of course, how it's either affected you positively or negatively mm -hmm. as far as playing music. Well, uh, I uh, was born legally blind, uh, and so uh, a lot of that stuff affected me in my education, schooling, things like that. Uh, but I did uh, finally make it to college, and I was lucky enough to get to meet some people, Clayton Case and Laura Ford Hall and Timothy Cooley, that had a singing group in the college, and I got to be picked for one of the Big Sandy Singers. And that just really actually helped me to get through the schooling and graduate. So uh, it was a big thing to me to be a part of that group, and I'm honored. I learned so much from those people, and I respect them greatly. But lately, it actually, I play a small part um, in a uh, internet web series called Fifth Holler. Uh, Jan Lewis and is one of the producers of that. And I play this uh, guy that got blinded in a coal mine accident. And I work in the police station. Now, he's a little shades of gray. And we filmed the whole first season, and I get to do all my own stunts and fight scenes, and I'm very pleased for a guy that, was, that grew up, you know, legally blind, and you know, nobody really thought I would achieve much. To me, I believe that all things are possible. It's whatever you work toward. You can achieve anything if you don't take no for an answer. So we're getting ready to start filming the second season of that, and I'm just honored to be a part of it, and uh, wherever it goes, I feel blessed. You know, we were talking before we uh, started filming here, and we talked a little bit about you know, you taking a trip down to Nashville at one point. And, yes. And how you really prefer to play music here and be here at home in the mountains. And I do. Why is that? Well, I, I, when I was a young guy, I, like most guys, I wanted to... Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Well, uh, I did. I went to Nashville for some time when I was a young man. I wanted to be the next superstar and had all these dreams. So I uh, actually was uh, been singing with the Big Sandy Singers for a while, and uh, I went down there on a hiatus. Stayed for a little bit, tried out for some TV shows, got to perform some. But to be truthful, I really didn't like Nashville that much. I would prefer to be here. I love Eastern Kentucky. I'm honored to be able to sing in the restaurants and the churches and meet people around here that are so nice, and uh, that's where my heart is. And I hope that I can continue singing here locally and, and branch out some too. But my heart is really here. Anything else you want to add to that? Just that I'm grateful to be here, and I look forward to hopefully to get to sing to more and more people. Right. Good job. Thanks, Thank you, sir.